Hey guys, I'm Rafer, and today is going to be a bit of a weird one, uh, mostly because I haven't really read a novel in the past week. I mean, technically, I, I reread Waterways again in the past week because I, I felt like it, and um, I was really digging. Uh, what's the first part? Is it Aquifiers? Yeah, yeah, I was really digging Aquifiers. I was like, oh yeah, this is great. Like, you know, remembering all that cool stuff and cringing at some of the stuff that Samaki was doing and remembering that I did stuff like that <laughs> in high school and then um and then I got the streams and I was like I was getting really like like streams and towards the end of Oceans I was getting really tired of Corey uh as a character um because just like I just I was just tired of his shit I'm just like mate just fucking just stop whining. I'm like, like I was, I was so in Zamaki's camp. <laughs> but then, you know, I, I really enjoyed the ending. So it was, it was pretty fun just going through that. Cause I, I was like, I was towards the end. Like, I don't really want to keep reading. I'm like, I'm tired of Corey. Like fucking it's easy to Susan Corey. Like you've already made it this far. Um, oh, well. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, waterways is still good. And I, I always like going back to that. Other than that, I've just been reading short stories here and there. So, um, non-print, I... Mostly because towards the end of Waterways, I was just in the mood for short stories, and it was it was definitely showing in how well I was enjoying the story. Like, it's still an enjoyable story, but I'm like, hey, come on, I'm just tired of you, Corey. I want to I read about someone else. And, uh, and yeah, so I've read... I've been meaning to get round to reading um, the K.M. Hirosaki's um, Ray Raylan um, stories. Uh, I think it's Scotia or something. And um, I went and read the first one, which I think was Let's Play Musical Chairs, which I really liked. Uh, I can see why that character took off, which I need to get read around and read like the other six or so stories because I, I quite liked him. And um, just like his... Uh, his character voice and he like his dialogue, like the way he spoke, and then the, the the way the text. I guess the way the story was played out that was also really cool. Like it's always pretty fun. And then uh, the other day, I I got around to reading the rest of the stories and plowed because I got home from work. I'm like I I really want to. I just felt like it, so I got around to doing that. And Ajax stories were good as I expected. Um, uh, if they're, they're, I mean, this is probably just me personally, but I just don't understand it. You know, if you get kicked out of home and you know you have nightmares about your dad kicking you out of home and trying to kill you, what what do you get turned on by <laughs> Big Barra Daddy? So I don't know. <laughs> um, but other than that, they were they were pretty cool. Um, one was definitely more uh, BDSM. Um, which was definitely stark compared to the rest of them in the, in the anthology. And, um, oh yeah, there's a Siani story. Uh, I guess it's, I think that's maybe slightly telling that I don't remember what happened. Oh, no, I just flicked past it. I thought I read this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I did. So yeah, weekend pass. Actually, that was pretty cool. Um, uh, Fox on Ram, and I always like Rams. Um, and yeah, it was pretty ni nice little twist towards the end. And I, I you know, thinking about it, like remembering, it, I actually quite like that story. So, <laughs> um, oh, no, no, okay, I've still got my frames. And uh, I got round to reading, the, I think it was the, the story by Dan, yeah, the, yeah, Academic Fulfillment by Danoff, which uh, wasn't as bad as I initially thought. I mean, the sex scene was actually quite hot. I really liked that sex scene. The story was a bit, hmm, <laughs> there wasn't much there. <laughs> but, you know, I, I guess it still showed by the time I got to that fourth story, I was... I was already pretty tired of reading back-to-back -back cowboy stories, which I think I think I still stand by that point. That like you know, they're all nice and great stories, but stacked up together, it's a bit tiring. Um, 
because they all kind of feel similar. Um, and then other short stories I've read is I've been... Yesterday I actually meant to um, get around to finishing reading everything to, in Heat 13. Yeah, Heat, Heat 13. Because there's three, there's three entries in this that I haven't read. I think they're actually all short stories. Um, and and obviously the the, uh, the election result happened and I just wanted to play Civ <laughs> all day and listen to podcasts and catch up to videos. Uh, which was my initial idea for this video today. Uh, which is why I kind of have to cheat and just talk about what I've read. Um, but I did read uh, Candrel's story in... Uh, in this got a hole in the wall, which is actually really good. I actually really, really like this one, and um, because I really like the the language you used in the piece, because it gives a definitely the rich sense of character. Oh, well, uh, what's his name? Oh bugger, because it's all in first person. I forgot his name. Um, well, I feel bad. I can't remember his name, and I'm trying to flick through. I it didn't jump out at me. But, um, I actually really like that piece. I feel really bad I forgot his name. Um, because I actually really liked it. It was straight, by the way, but it was still hot. I still like, uh, Zedpress. Um, fucking foxes. <laughs> Even though the foxes are girls. Um, and then, I, I guess I'll save the rest talking about when I talk about Heat 13. Um, which will hopefully be next week if I keep my reading schedule up. <laughs> And then, um, other than that, I've been going through Gods God's With Fur, or Gods of Fur. I can never fucking remember. I think it's Gods of Fur, um, the anthology that came out earlier this year by, edited by Fred Patton, and it has, like, all these awesome authors in it, and, um, I've been going through that, because that's, uh, I've got that as an ebook on my phone, which I just pull out. Um, when I want something to read, and I don't really have a book on me, and, um, so I've just read the f four stories in it, I think there's like 20 or something, so I've read, uh, The 400 Rabbits by Husky T, which was great, um, I liked that, that was pretty cute and charming, and I've read Killick's story, Three Minutes to Midnight, that was, that was good, I quite liked that, um, the, the, the way it panned out, and, oh, and last night I read, um, uh, Coyote Trickster, or Trickster Coyote, I think that's the name, I've totally already forgotten, <laughs> by, um, Day Sprints Night Eyes, I think that's his name, um, I could check, uh, if I, I want to get it right. Night Eyes Day Sprint, so I was, I was half there, um, which is an awful, I've kind of found out in the past few months, which um, I really, really like, I actually really like his um, uh, character voices that I've seen in the two pieces I've read of his, and I've got, I think, maybe seven pieces in different anthologies, which I'm actually kind of really want to go through, because I actually, I really like his stuff so far, so yeah, Tricks to Coyote was awesome, um, because I, I actually really like all the, those, um, the old man coyote myths and stuff like that, and Native American tales, they're always quite interesting, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it, like, I've, I've just read lots of cool short stories that I've half been meaning around to get to, and half that, like, I really want to enjoy, well, I really did enjoy, um, I, I do want to, well, after I sit down with Heat 13, um, I'll probably pick up a novel, and then I want to go through a, an anthology, um, back, back to front, well, front to back, <laughs> um, because I haven't done that in years, like, I used to do that with, like, Fandom Raw back in the day, and, and, and yeah, that's pretty much it, just reading bits and pieces here and there, um, <laughs> Um, uh, oh, I also, now it's not furry, but I've also been trying to go through, uh, this, uh, really sexy hardcover that I picked up of, uh, H.P. Lovecraft's Cthulhu Mythos Tales. Um, yeah, that's, I think, pretty much it. Um, so yeah, I'll try and put in, um, oh, 
what do you call it? I'll, I'll, I'll put in information in the description of all the stories I've mentioned, so you can find them one way or another. Um, yeah, so I've been Rafer, and I'll catch you later.